The underdog story of Joe Andresen, also known as Buffalo Joe, who went from an undrafted rookie signing that impressed at a local tryout to actually qualifying for the initial 53-man roster for his hometown team is simply poetic. Joe Andresen with a tackle. Buffalo Joe has yet to play in a regular season NFL game, but he's already made a good impression on Bills Mafia, becoming one of the team's fan favorites. And it's pretty ironic, because once upon a time, Buffalo Joe was in the tailgate lots in Orchard Park with Bills Mafia, and he was representing the Bills by wearing a Matt Milano jersey, which is amazing, because an injury to Matt Milano was definitely a contributing factor in giving Andresen the opportunity to qualify for the Bills roster in the first place. And when Joe had his number called on in the preseason, he shined bright like a diamond in the rough. Andresen impressed in preseason action, and not only did he earn a roster spot on the Buffalo Bills, but he also earned the respect of the team's general manager, Brandon Bean. I think we need to give him credit and kudos. How can you not cheer for him? Like. There's a lot of guys we cheer for that don't make it, so we still have to make the best decision for the Bills. And, you know, to this point, he's done what's asked, and he earned the opportunity, you know, to make our initial 53. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varco, and today I want to talk to you about the amazing story that's been developing over the past few weeks, the story of Joe Andresen, also known as Buffalo Joe. And... I was at the preseason game, the preseason finale against the Carolina Panthers this past Saturday, and look at this. I saw a fan holding a sign that says, Keep Buffalo Joe, and his wishes came to fruition. This was definitely a popular opinion among Buffalo Bills fans, and he has cracked the initial 53-man roster. A hometown kid who went from being a fan to being a member of the Buffalo Bills team. It's a crazy story, and in this video, we're going to talk about it. But if you haven't yet, I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to click that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content coming away all season long. I'm approaching 5,000 subscribers, so if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. It will help out the channel in a big time way. It's going to be a big year for the Bills and a big year for the Bills Bunker as well. Let's talk about Buffalo Joe. Andresen comes from Depew, New York, which is a suburb of Buffalo, with a population of right around 15,000 people. He first made an impression on football fans in Western New York by helping his high school out of Lancaster to a New York State Public High School Athletic Association Championship game appearance. And after high school, the hometown kid committed to Division I FCS Bryant, where he recorded 256 total tackles along with 37.5 tackles for loss, and 15 pass deflections over parts of five seasons. And to end his collegiate career, Andresen transferred home to the University at Buffalo for a sixth and final season at the college level of ball. He started 12 games with the Bulls, and he finished the year as the team's leader in tackles and tackles for loss. Then in May, the 24-year-old tried out for the big leagues with the Buffalo Bills at their minicamp, where he left a good first impression and he continued to impress throughout preseason action. Buffalo Joe didn't just make an impression on Bill's Mafia though. He received some national notice as well and he was named to the Sporting News NFL All Preseason Team that highlights the top performers of the preseason. And this is just an amazing underdog story. It's one that is touching for Buffalo Bills fans as one of our own is representing our beloved Bills with pride. It's amazing for someone who technically wasn't even supposed to be here to actually qualify for the roster. Now the future for Andresen is unknown, but he seems to have the right mindset. There's still a lot left to be done. Um, you know, a lot left to prove, not to only me, but my teammates now, because I'm given that opportunity to be on this team to help this team win. So, yeah, it's, um, you know, in this league there's no security, so. I keep coming out here, putting, putting work in every day. And if Buffalo Joe keeps that mindset and he continues to impress through his hard work and his dedication to his craft, then the possibilities are endless for the hometown kid. 
This is the story of Joe Andreessen, a.k.a. Buffalo Joe, who went from being a fan in the stands, a member of Bill's Mafia, to actually playing and qualifying for the active 53-man roster with the Buffalo Bills after trying out for their team in May. I think this is a really touching story. This is something that, honestly, like this is the movie type of thing. Joe Andreessen going from a fan of the team, someone who was playing college ball undrafted, to actually qualifying for the team's active 53-man roster initially. That's some crazy stuff. And I'm really excited to see J- Buffalo Joe He's probably going to start off with some special teams contributions here. uh, And there's going to be some changes throughout the next week and a half, most likely on the roster. But I think Buffalo Joe has secured his spot on this team as of right now. And even if he were to get cut at some point, this is just an amazing story. He's made an impression in the National Football League. He has an opportunity in football elsewhere if the Buffalo Bills were to move on. But right now... This is a crazy story. He's already a fan favorite in Buffalo. And the hometown kid gets to represent his team wearing that jersey right back there. That's amazing. Buffalo Joe. Cool stuff. Love to see it. Very touching story. If you haven't yet, I encourage you to click that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content coming your way all season long. And let me know your thoughts on Buffalo Joe, Andreessen, and... I mean... How excited are you to see him sporting that jersey right there in the regular season? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't yet, click subscribe. Go Bills. It's going to be a great season. I'll see you Sunday. I'll be at the game Sunday. Home opener. We'll have plenty of content coming out.